Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Theo from Fino Concept, and today we are going to create something special for our fathers. <laughs> anyway, so let's just jump into it. Open up our application. For this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop CC 2018, and I'll just click on File, go to New, and in New, I'm going to set it to Add an illustration so I just have a, a width of um, 2000 by 2000 I just want a square okay so I hit ok and let's just create a background so I grab my ellipse tool which is right here and I'll create a very big ellipse like this uh, we are not seeing this because it's currently set to stroke so i'll just remove the stroke and change this to fill the fill color of black yeah so let me zoom out and let's see how big it is uh let's increase the size right about here i don't know maybe something like this okay so um i'll group this up uh, better still let's let's leave it like that so i have this um image from google the name i searched for was just father and son walking so you can just search for it in google and you should get it i chose this image because darken out the other portions is going to be quite easier so let's just open it up in photoshop and i'll just grab my quick selection tool right here and I'll create a selection around this part, the part I don't need. Okay, so maybe here to and here as well. Now we are going to be cropping some part of the legs, so I'm not really bothered about that part. So you click on the add layer mask icon. And this is just going to create a layer mask, taking them out. So, um, with the layer mask selected, which is this one, I'll hold down Control and press I. That's going to invert the selection. So this is what we have. Um, let me apply the layer mask. Now you notice that we have this part to showing. Uh, we don't want that part. So quick selection to I just take that portion away. So I'm using the bracket keys to reduce the size. So grabbing my eraser, I'll just take that part out. Or you can just press delete on your keyboard. Virtually the same thing. So I'll hold down control and click on this thumbnail right here. Now you see when I hover over it, I get this icon. Now holding down control, this is what I get. I click on it, that's going to create a selection. And with that selection, I'll just go to my adjustment panel and click on hue, hue or saturation. And I'll reduce the lightness to negative 100 just want a black um, black background so this is what you are getting now I'll just merge these two up so control alt e or just control shift e that's going to merge them up control alt e is going to merge them and put them on top like so so if you wanted to just merge them up control shift e now hold down control press a highlight everything control x cut it out control w close it so I put it here, which is Control V. I paste it in here, and I reduce the size to right about uh, about this big. Now, because of the legs, I'm just going to click and drag this slightly downwards. And for some reason, I like the dot to be on the left side and the chart to be on the right. So, um, holding down Control, I press T to bring up the transform tools, or you can just click on any of the corners it's just going to do the same thing so I flip this horizontally and now let's see so if I move this yeah right around here should be just fine now I'll hold down control and click on the thumbnail again Um, this is because I'm getting let me show you I'm getting these black spots at the edges I want to remove that so I'll create a selection I'll go to select modify contract so contract i'll just set it to about um two pixel it's okay now i think two is too much i'll just set it to maybe one one pixel hit okay so that is going to 
create the selection one pixel inward then i'll just um, invert that selection so Control shift i invert it now we have the outside part selected and i'll just delete the outside part so like so so i guess this is much better okay so um we just want to create uh, a nice background over here i like keeping my background layer so i just go to the adjustment panel click on solid color and i'll change the solid color to something like this i don't know it has to be mm, not too red not too yellow not too orange okay i think something like this will do just fine so i click on okay you know what let's reduce the size it's too big okay so um between our solid color which is here our color fill and our ellipse i'm going to create a circle so i grab my ellipse too again this time i now click and drag not like so it's still set to stroke i'll not click and drag like this i'll just click one time so that i have these uh, my weight is 100 by 100 this way i'll just have a perfect circle with both width and height being the same now i'll put that right around here so we can see because it's actually black let me change the color to white so this is what we are getting and i'll change the color to instead of white let's try let's try yellow so i have um this kind of sun effect coming in or probably double clicking on this probably you should change this color to i don't know white for now let's leave it at white we might change it um again so i'll reduce the sun to right about here i'll duplicate it ctrl j i'll select the bottom one and i'll increase the size maybe like so and reduce the opacity to let's try 50 percent i'll do it one more time select the down one increase the size another 50 percent so we are getting this nice looking effect okay so um today is father's day so we have to type in our text so i'll just grab my type 2 and my type 2 actually wants me to type on top of this let's let's try that and see what we get so father's day hit okay i'll grab my move to click on one side then try to rotate this to the center so let's try to move this to the center i don't know i'm just trying some things out nah this is not looking too nice for me okay so uh with that done we have to we can just leave it as so but i don't know i'm feeling for beds right now so probably let's grab one mm, screens. okay so i have this set of beds right here so i just grab one i don't know maybe let's use this one so with my quick selection tool i just create a selection around that not so perfect but yours has to be so i'll create a layer out of that and i'll click and drag it on top here so maybe something like this should be just fine reduce the size now it's these little details that actually make the design much nicer I'll delete that up so basically um, we are done I just type in my text right here so happy um, Father's Day 
you are not seeing my text because uh, the color set to black so I'll change it to white and you know what let me click and drag this to the center so that we can align everything to the center now if you don't have that you just hold down control and press R so that will bring up your rulers and when you click and drag to the center it will just snap in so happy father's day I'll change this font to regular and reduce the size again if you don't have this just go to window and click on character it's going to pop up so I reduce the size to maybe let's try 20 okay I think that's looking much better so you know me um, I like to create some weird shapes at the edges even though they are not relevant to our work so I'll try to keep one here and the bottom color I'm going to change it to I don't know instead of just dark black you know what let's create a gradient for that so click on FX go to gradient overlay and in gradient overlay where did it go gradient overlay we are going to set it to this particular one which is our foreground color and background color and I'll change it to black to white so we have something like this I can't see so let me just click and drag this let's move it into play okay so we have something like this I think it looks good so um, I want to apply that on top of this image as well so I just copy this layer mask and instead of just that I'll select these two and just as before Control alt and E so we have that merge up and I'll paste it in here so it is affecting both of them so let's go back to our gradient and make it like so doesn't have to be too much to use the opacity to maybe 70 okay so this is what we are getting undo so yeah basically that's the entire idea if you have other options you want to add in i'll be adding my logo and other stuff but i don't want this design to look too cumbersome so if you want to add anything you can add that as well so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one